My studio is in uh, Poughkeepsie in upstate New York and um, I live in an old firehouse. It has three floors. Uh, the ground floor is where my studio is. Uh, the second floor is my husband's studio, who is a, he's a painter, and we live on the third floor. This is the first time that I've had such a large studio. It's approximately 1,800 square feet. It has ceramic tile, um, so I don't really have to worry about uh, keeping it very clean. I also have a big drain in the middle of my studio where I believe they must have washed the fire engines. My studio dates back uh, to 1906, the building, uh, when it was completed as a firehouse. So I even have a big uh, uh, water trough where the horses used to drink from. So um, I have two garage doors in my studio, which uh, is actually has helped me um, think about my work uh, on a larger scale. And um, because before that, I always had to uh, worry about you know how large my door was so that in case I made something which was even an inch bigger it would be impossible to get it out so now I have um, a roll-up garage door so it's made uh, the access much easier. My name is Huma Baba I'm an artist I uh, live in and work in uh, Poughkeepsie New York well when I'm working with uh, cork and I'm carving uh, and if you come at that time, then the whole floor is littered with cork, and uh, so it's quite messy. But normally I'm not such a messy artist. I clean up a lot because I want the air to be clean in there. If you walked in there, you'd see uh, like, you know, a wall of styrofoam, which I've collected and people have given to me. Uh, these are, you know, styrofoam pieces that are discarded from electronics or from various different packaging. That's qu quite an interesting thing in my studio because uh, normally one doesn't have a big collection of discarded styrofoam. Because my work in involves a lot of found objects, so for many years now I've been picking up uh, pieces, whether I walk around or, you know, Whenever I walked through the building, you know, he allowed me to pick up whatever trash I wanted to. So I had my own trash, uh, which I used for my sculptures. I mean, I usually work in the evenings, but the evenings are definitely uh, when both of us work, you know. And a good day is usually when, it doesn't necessarily have to be that I finish something, but I've made a huge jump, you know, or suddenly realized a certain thing that I was having a bit of an issue with gets resolved. And that could be just sort of sitting around staring at something for several days, you know, and then on that one day, <laughs> you've sort of decided that uh, what you've been looking at has finally clicked somewhere in your brain, you know, so you know exactly what to do and it could be a few marks on something or, you know, getting rid of something uh, in a sculpture or, you know, adding something. But usually that's how I work. I work pretty intuitively. I have an idea as to what I'm going to do and what I would like something to look like. But because of the nature of the materials I use, there might be something that is uh, surprising that will happen and you know I usually know when something is not quite done so I'm waiting for that moment. A bad day in the studio because it's my own studio so it doesn't really matter if it's not working out I just won't uh, spend much time there but I think you know because I'm working on a few things at the same time so if I don't feel like you know being very physical, then I can just go to drawing, you know. And I have, I, I make drawings on paper, I draw on photographs, which can be small or large. So I have a variety of, um, you know, things to turn to if one thing is not working. My studio is a pretty calm space. 
my back door, the big roll-up door, has you know windows in it, so I can look out onto a little garden that I have, which is uh, full of weeds because that's how I like it. So the weeds are really overgrown, so it's a nice green. And then I, I have one of my bronze sculptures uh, in that little patch. I have a lot of pictures up and clippings and. It's, I think it's quite a cozy uh, space, you know. My studio, basically, when I moved into the firehouse, I didn't have to do anything. Didn't have to paint anything because it was all ceramic brick. So I, I have uh, a mixture of uh, white and yellow light, which I like. It's a little softer and then there's the natural light. It's a place of uh, thinking and production. I mean, I've already made a lot of work there and it's a nice space to just uh, sit around in also. I have people visit my studio. You know, it depends, uh, you know, it's usually people from my gallery or curators um, that are planning shows uh, that want to sort of, you know, get to know you a little bit and discuss their projects. Um, so I don't usually, you know, I, I mean, whatever I'm working on is usually out there. Uh, I can't really sort of hide it unless I cover it with a, a tarp or something. Over the several years that I've been practicing as an artist, uh, many years, uh, I've had many different studios. I think the studio is basically, it, it could be anywhere, you know. Uh, you can work in your bedroom, you know. And uh, so it's all about like being focused on what you're doing, you know. And it's not like having the perfect studio.